Bristol City manager Lee Johnson celebrates their victory what a week it's been to be a City fan. I don't think anyone predicted that we would take six points from two tough games at Sheffield United and Middlesbrough, but that's exactly what happened, writes Will Collins. City's performance at Bramall Lane on Saturday was outstanding. To go to a ground where the home side has only conceded once in their last eight games and score three times is some achievement. The players showed great character as well, coming from behind twice, with the Blades taking the lead as early as the sixth minute and through sharp. But Wyman leveled things up with a great header on the half-hour mark in what was to be a memorable afternoon for the Austrian. Hogan put the home side back in front with 71 minutes on the clock and it looked like City were heading for defeat. But Wyman had other ideas. Six minutes later substitute Palmer floated the ball into the box and it was met first time by Wyman who volleyed past Henderson. Then, on 83 minutes, Wyman drove towards goal like a man possessed. After taking the initial throw in he played a 1-2 with Didu on the edge of the box before nicking the ball over the last man and firing home into the far corner to send the city away and wild. It was Wyman's first career hat-trick and what a time to produce it. On Tuesday night City had to weather the home side's pressure for the first 30 minutes but after that looked comfortable against Middlesbrough. Webster has been one of our best players this season and his header gave us the lead on 31 minutes from De Silva's corner. City almost added a second with both Pack and Brownhill missing guilt-edged chances but one goal proved to be enough. City now have two home games to look forward to, firstly against struggling Wigan Athletic on Saturday, 3 p.m., who have the worst away record in the division, and then fourth place WBA are the visitors to Ashton Gate on Tuesday night, 7.45 p.m.